Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sean with Manly Made Minute. And do you ever wonder what to do with all of these little itsy bitsies that gets cut out from a cover plate or a die cut? Well, stick around. I have just the cutest, tiniest, little, cutesy little idea to show you. So come on back and I'll show you. Okay, so these little cutouts from my die cut. Um, I just did a card um, video that's going to get posted on a die cut floral arrangement with the little flower, floral die cuts. And as I was cleaning up, I realized these would make the best, the cutest little card or little things to stick on a card. And then I was like, you know what I never really do? I never really make little tags or little note cards very much anymore. I started doing a ton of them and posting them on Etsy, but I haven't done them for a while. I'm like, oh, these would be great for that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little die cut little, um, this is a two by two mini note card or bag tag, whichever you want to use it for. I'm going to use the same colors and match. So let's get started. All right. Again, this is the card that I just made, and a video is coming out on it here shortly. And as I was cleaning up, these are the little die cuts that I had. And these are, these are the ones that I picked up that still had the stamping on them that I thought, these are perfect, you don't have to color them. And just stick them on something, right? This is the die plate, um, cover plate that I was, that I was using. Um, you could actually die, you know, die cut a couple cover plates just to make these and use the cutouts and save the die plates um, cutouts for something else later once you get inspired. But anyway, I chose colors um, like the colors that I have on here. Um, some of them are the same colors, just a mixy matchy. Um, and some of these might even just be white and I might leave them white or I just might even color them solid with the, with the ink pad. So here is what I thought would be cute. I'm going to take these and there's like no taping down, no like this isn't anything fancy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a post-it note to block off the back half of this and just stick that down. Okay, um, let's just start with a purple. I'm just going to ink blend this. It doesn't even have to be perfect because it's going to get covered up. So if it's just kind of, you know, mixy matchy and some bare spots. That's, that's what we're going with. Nothing too special on this. Just wanted to throw a little color on the background um, to lay these down. And then it just has a little something to pop through. But again, um, this goes with, um, I just look at everything as I clean up going, can I reuse that? Can I reuse it? I know some people just, you know, they have rules that if it's a certain size, they throw it away or, um, you know, they, they throw this stuff away. Cool. Um, I just look at stuff thinking I could probably make something out of that. Um, I am cheap and I just like to um, reuse as much as I possibly can and make them into cards. And I'm thinking half the time when I do so, like this, I feel like is going to be super cute and I would have just thrown these away. Um, so again, I just save stuff and get inspired later. I switched to sticky notes just because that purple, um, I don't want to get onto this pink, so I just switched it out. Again, I'm not worried about getting complete coverage, because um, it's just going to blend off anyway with, with the um, stuff that we're going to, that we're going to stick down. So. Just grab a couple more stickies here. I am thinking with the, and here's the deal. You can make these, you can use these for gifts. You can, um, you know, make a little set of these and give them away, whatever you feel like doing. These ones I might actually just give away to um, some coworkers. We, we manage a group of people large group of people that I thought these would be just little notes to say like you're awesome or good job or something on the inside. 
Um, so I figured I'll just give these to employees and and let them use it for what they want to use it for. Again, it was scraps. So even these, these were scraps off of stuff that I, when I was cutting card sizes. So um, I just cut two inch strips, two by four, and then fold it in half by two. You can be three by threes, whatever you got scraps for and sizes for, um, by all means, make it, right? So I'm kind of just doing like one of each color that I had used um, for this card because that, those are the colors that I have that are still on stamped onto these little flower pieces. That way it's just kind of matchy. Again, not not too concerned about um, getting it too too blended and too covered. Um, these are Catherine Pooler inks. So I was using um, Serenade, Grass Skirt, Be Mine, and Fiesta Blue. Um, they do level off and smooth out really, really nice as they dry. So I know these will I know these will soften down um, once we're done, and they dry out. All right. Now here's the here's the thing. I am not. There's no rhyme or reason to this at all. I'm gonna probably do some off the edge, not off the edge, and then just trim it down. And just cover a card. Now you could actually do a die cut greeting on this. Um, oh, that one was white. You know what? I'm gonna use it. Um, I was gonna. I was gonna just. Uh, whoops. I was gonna um, use the the ink pad to color the white ones, but we'll throw the white one on there. Little glue sticking out, so I'm probably gonna just double layer like so, just to cover my glue, because I kind of squished that down a little too hard. Um, so just double layer it. Again, I am just using up scraps for all of this. These were nothing, this was not even planned or anything. I just got thinking, Gosh, these were cute. I, honestly, when they were stamped, I mean, when we pull it up, stamped and cut out, I was like, those are those are like cute little flowers. What could I use them for? And here we are. So, just something kind of kind of different and kind of fun. They're all the same size, so um, you'll just have to. Well, there's one small one in here, I guess, but. Um, And then I'm gonna double layer another one just because I had a double layer, so so it's kind of even. And we'll throw a white one on the top. Like so. And I'm gonna leave it like that. Let that dry a little bit as I do these other ones, and then we'll trim it. Again, I'm not even thinking about this. I'm just laying these down. Wherever I want. You could do a pattern. You could lay them down in rows. You know, whichever, whichever you think. But how cute would these be? Um, just to give out to, to friends or... Um, Put on bags and stuff that you have have prepared and ready to go. And any shape, honestly, like any shape on here, I think would work. Um, because of the different die cuts, right? And I have a I have a halfsy. I saved those halfsies because I thought those could go just like so and not have to cut them. I'm gonna pop two up on top again because I thought that looked kinda cute. So I'm gonna pop one up here to fill in that space. And then I'm gonna use a bigger one and pop one up here and fill in that space. Like so. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for these two, but it, we'll see. Oh yeah, I should. 
even if you had, you know, extras of, like it, when you only do these die plates, if you end up cutting some off, um, you could actually use that and make little mini cover plates over top of these. So I thought this would be cute for a scrappy short, so. But I bet, I bet most of you, I'm just willing to bet money on this, um, just take and wipe off your craft space, um, just wipe it off and into the garbage, and, um, don't even use this stuff when you've got, you've got potential, just like my logo, everything's got potential, right? Throw another white one. I'm going to cut those off the edge. Then we're just going to throw another one right in here and try not to double up on these ones. We'll leave that one. And last one, so I'll use this one. Um, with that straight edge, I'm just going to throw that right up on top here. No cutting. Hopefully I have, um, hopefully I have enough. This just might make it. That was like, that was like perfect actually, um, without any scraps. So I'll throw this colored one over here. I'm gonna throw this white one over here. Now I was gonna do this with the white ones. I was just gonna color them with my pad, but um, I'm just gonna use them white. I think we get so used to just wanting color, right? Like we got, it's gotta add, we gotta add something on there. We just can't leave it. Um, and sometimes, sometimes white, sometimes white is okay. Throw this one right up in there and then we'll cut it. All right, let's cut these. I'll let that last one dry. We'll go to this first one. So I'm just gonna flip this and cut my edges down. Like so. And trim these down. On the backs of these, you can see I had already, I had already had these, they were scraps. I already pre-cut them into my four, two by four. Then I scored them at the two inch mark and folded them. And then as I do with all my cards, I put my little branding on here with um, my Etsy and Instagram and, and tag and stuff on here for people to go find me. Um, I put them on here too, why not? You're making something. Brand it and get people to your channel and get people to your, like if I do sell stuff on Etsy, um, you know, I if it fits on the back, I'm putting my logo on the back. So, um, that's just, I just didn't think this was too small that I shouldn't put my logo kind of thing. Um, so there you have it. Let's see if I can hold these shut. How cute, how cute is that? A little four pack of gift tags, uh, a little note card, little lunch note, I think some people call these lunchbox notes or lunch notes, so you throw in a lunch tote. Um, but these are cute and all, every single one of this was scraps, all right? So, there you have it. Scraps, 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 scraps. I used them and we got something just so cute and adorable out of it. Um, for a little four pack of note cards. Thank you so much for showing up. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end to see these cutesy little uh, die cut note cards, mini cards. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and follow me. If you're not new here and you keep coming back and like my content, um, don't forget to hit that like subs and subscribe button and the little bell will notify you uh, once I upload my next video. Feel free to comment um, if you use stuff like this, if this was useful. Um, I just love having um, comments and I do reply to every single one, so I appreciate it. I appreciate you all. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for sticking around. And until next time, I'll see you then.